To the southeast coast of West Elizabeth lies the small but growing town of Blackwater. And while it doesn't look like the biggest town, nowhere near the size of Saint Denis for sure, this town has promising opportunities and with time it could grow to the size of Saint Denis as well, just with less buildings and more homes as the countryside was always meant for. But don't get it twisted, Blackwater is right by a large body of water allowing boats to go in and out of the bay, delivering goods and exporting goods along the way which could only have positive implications on the folks in the town. Blackwater also has all the essentials you'll need, including a tailor shop, a general store, a barber shop, and a post office to name a few. These businesses provide job opportunities for the locals and allow for more development to take place in the future. Because whenever the local economy is healthy, the population usually increases as people find it safer to have children the stronger the economy is. There is however no railroad that passes through or nearby Blackwater, but that simply isn't needed. With boats having easy access to the town, and Blackwater generally being in a good area, being right by neighboring towns as well, a railroad would be nice but is not required by any means for the success of Blackwater. Another bonus is that in small American towns like these, everyone knows each other, so crime is not necessarily a problem for the small town with the exception of Dutch Vanderlyn's gang ravaging the area in a bloody gunfight with officials. Nothing catastrophic has happened since, and Blackwater has remained peaceful since then as well. As touched on earlier, Blackwater could see some more success to Saint Denis, in terms of scale but not in terms of industry. Blackwater is the perfect place to build a town with mostly homes and the essential businesses. The hills provide nice scenery and allow for houses to be more spread out. The countryside is also just a nicer, more affordable place to live outside of a major city. During this time, also, the Great Migration had not taken place yet in America, giving these folks no reason to move to big cities yet. Saint Denis was relatively big and prosperous, but wages were ample enough to survive in the country. However, it may not be the same case in a decade or so, but for now, Blackwater can continue its path of growth, and that is being reflected in the world. Despite Blackwater having a bank already, a new one is being constructed right next to the city hall. The city hall itself is also seeing an overhaul with new paving and presumably a water fountain being constructed in front of the structure. Right next to the city hall is another construction site, but it is not as clear to us so as to the purpose this building will serve. Though if you ask me, it is likely to be a new jailhouse as the current one is quite small and even though there isn't much crime in the town, the extra rooms could be used for office work and whatnot. There are also floor plans being laid out on the opposite side of the plot of land, but it's in too early of a stage to determine what it will be exactly, and it's not like all of this is being built by slave workers. All the workers are contracted and are paid fairly well, with higher experienced workers being paid more, per this sign outside one of the sites. With more buildings being built and finished, more workers can start their jobs there, thus increasing the strength of the local economy, which then ties into people having kids during strong economical times. As for Blackwater's problems, there aren't too many. One problem that could have been a bigger problem is drugs. Cocaine at this time was legal and didn't require a prescription from the doctor, leading to many people being coming addicted to the substance as they did not know what the dosage should really be if they needed it. Much of this was used recreationally anyways. But thanks to the Blackwater Ledger, issue number 75, we know that the California governor has amended the Pharmacy and Poison Act, which made selling cocaine without a prescription illegal. Stopping the plague before it even started, as we have discussed on this channel, is what exactly drug abuse is. A plague that seemingly never goes away, and when it does, it takes huge change in policy and willpower to stop. So thankfully that crisis was avoided. Aside from that, the only other issues with Blackwater is the heat from the desert and the Skinner brothers who live nearby. As for the heat, it mostly comes from the south, but due to the mountains to the north of Blackwater, the wind most of the time would blow south, thus blowing the hot air back into the desert and out of Blackwater. And as for the Skinner brothers, more and more of them are being killed by locals or hung by the law. In Blackwater, they don't mess around with criminals and freaks, and this is proof of that. The Skinner brothers are also really only a problem once you start to venture outside of the area of Blackwater. Once you get into tall trees, they become a major issue, but that is still in the Blackwater County, and the city is still responsible for that, and that is why they are being hung. But aside from that, the Skinner brothers don't really go into Blackwater in the city itself. They linger outside of it, so as long as you stay within the city limits, you generally speaking are safe. 
Blackwater was established in 1767, and while some people have their doubts that this is untrue, I am sure this is correct. People point to the founder of Blackwater, Josiah Blackwater, to have some inconsistencies as he was born in 1782, and thus the town would have predated him. But the founded date could have been his father's birthday, which would make more sense, and it does to me. This was during the time in which goods like lumber, tobacco, and fish were being traded to foreign markets, and Blackwater had plenty of all of these goods. Forests were plentiful in the area, and Blackwater being right next to a large lake, and many creeks surrounding it, also allowed it to catch fish. This early success allowed Blackwater to grow throughout the 1800s, when growth is most important, which is early on. And that is where it is today, still in the growing stages of development, and it is unlikely to turn into a large industrial town like Saint-Denis because it simply doesn't need to. It can sustain itself for now with the current economical climate, and this was long after the American Industrial Revolution, so it already stood the test of time in that matter. And in fact, turning into a large industrial town like Saint-Denis might actually hurt Blackwater's image. It can charge port fees for boats docking in its ports, and like I just previously stated, the economy is perfectly fine as is. It doesn't need to evolve into a large industrial facility because it simply doesn't need to. The economy is perfectly fine, but once again, the test of time will only tell. Blackwater overall has this very welcoming feel to it. Not necessarily like a small town because it's more of a medium-sized town, but something close to it without being the scale of Saint Denis. I much prefer this feel over something like Valentine because while it does have a local culture, it's also a bit bigger so visitors are plentiful which is nice. Visitors are kind of a necessary evil as locals might not like the extra population, but they benefit from the funds that the visitors spend on the local shops. In places like Valentine, most of the time the visitors coming by only stay there for one night or so. They don't travel there for long periods of time because the town is just not that big. Blackwater has this perfect middle ground between Saint Denis and a small town like Valentine, making it perfect for tourists and locals as it's big enough to welcome both. And as for representation, Rockstar did a great job in making every town, even the ones to the far west, feel alive even when they also feel desolate, something that GTA 6 hopefully does a better job at. And we may be taking a closer look at these other towns if you guys like this video enough, but only time will tell for that manner. And with that being said, thank you all for watching this video. I'm not sure how it will do, because historically, other games don't do well on this channel. But this is another Rockstar title in the same format as my GTA documentary videos. So hopefully people will be more receptive to it. And with that being said, once again, have a great day, or night, or evening, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.